والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا محمد بن عبد الله النبي الأمي الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما شاء الله On behalf of the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations the nation's umbrella of our major national, regional, and local Muslim organizations, I would like to congratulate MUNA, its members, its friends, its neighbors, for this momentous occasion of the combat convention. Congratulations on a great work, bringing Muslims back again to be together and to learn. Congratulations to the leadership for their vision, dedication, commitment. Muna is one of the founders of the U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations. You have the right to be very proud of having such leadership and to be one of the founders of the country's national umbrella organization. This collective vision of the Muslim organization is the future of Muslims in America. The challenges that we face cannot be taken by one no matter how much they can claim because that defies the wisdom of the Quran and the demands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the ummatukum ummatun wahida wa ana rabbukum fa'budun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا The division, brothers and sisters, is what made the Muslim Ummah weak and encouraged other nations and other groups and Islamophobia to attack our Prophet, our Qur'an, our Ummah. This division, we see it every single day. That they have been able to do it with sanctity, with boldness. Yet, Muslim countries are weak, reluctant, hesitant to even raise their voice and complain why they have the world's wealth energy money resources strategic location in the world all of this to no benefit because of the division because of the disunity because of the lack of vision that this ummah has to be together because the Prophet Sallallahu warned us that all nations will come against you like monsters will snatch you from everywhere unless you're divided, unless you're united. So brothers and sisters, should we copy the division of what's happening in the Ummah 
in America? Should we be weak fighting each other, claiming our own superiority over the unity of the community? No. That's why I would say your leadership had vision. You should be proud of Muna's leadership to be one of, among the first to establish and to found this U.S. Council of Muslim Organizations. Wallahi inni uhibbukum fillah. Brothers and sisters in Muna, they know how much that I love each and every one of you because you are the backbone of USCMO. Anywhere we go, Muna members are there to serve and to help. Muna is always there when we have the National Muslim Advocacy Day being the largest number of groups that come over there. This is what Muna is always doing. Whether we do come to New York, whether we go to Washington, whether we go anywhere, Muna people is there. You are always there. You should be proud of yourself. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make your efforts accepted. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put blessings on your efforts. Congratulations on a great convention. Congratulations on your comeback. You are sending a message. We are strong no matter what the challenges are. We will come back stronger than even before. May Allah bless you. Jazakumullahu khayran. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.